Candice. Uh, this Hello. time I have uh, bought a couple of stocks that I want to tell you about. It's Great. stocks I bought this summer. And uh, it, came, it came about when I did my weekly um, call with some of the users of Obermont. You know, we now have, we started with Clubhouse actually at the beginning of the year. And then we decided to switch platform to Zoom because it's a lot easier to handle. And what we do is once a week, we meet each other on a Friday or Thursday or Wednesday morning at nine o'clock, drink a coffee and talk about stocks. And one of those um, mornings, uh, I, had, uh, I had Peter uh, on the line who works for a Swiss insurance company. And we talked about the stocks he has uh, in his portfolio, and it's mostly Swiss, it's mostly Swiss insurance companies and Swiss banks. I looked at the Swiss banks, uh, the Swiss Canton banks, and I just came to the conclusion that I don't like to invest there. They just, you know, the financials were just not that convincing. But when it came to the idea of holding insurance company companies, I was tempted. I was tempted because right now we have an environment where people uh, uh, where people are scared because of the pandemic, because of climate change, because of a very hot summer last year and a very cold summer this year, uh, and also because of really hot temperature this year in other places of the world, people uh, have more fear than normally. And that actually helps insurance companies. And in a funny way, because once you have a crisis, once you have uh, something like um, a terrorist attack or a uh, a natural disaster, the first thing that happens is, the, you know, the claims, you know, go up. And a lot of people are scared, you know, because these insurance companies have to cover the claims. But that actually help the, helps the insurance companies have higher premiums. So they can raise their prices. People, you know, sign up for more insurance. And for that reason, the insurance sector actually is a really good sector to invest in, uh, in times of crises. So what I did, I went to the Obermott filter. I, I selected the sector uh, insurance here, and I selected the country um, Switzerland because you know this guy Peter works for a Swiss company and he buys all Swiss banks and Swiss insurance companies. And I thought like I don't have any of these companies. Uh, I should have some too. So what you see here are the Swiss insurance companies that we have. Uh, that we have in our system and where we have ranks for these companies. These are all companies that are listed, uh, that are headquartered in Switzerland, not necessarily listed. Now, what I did is I, I sorted by value and the first company with the best value rank is Swiss Life. And Swiss Life has a very special insurance business. They uh, basically take premiums for from from people so that they can give them rents later on in life. So they can uh, save now and then they get a return, you know, later when they retire. So that's a very different business. This is not an insurance business, it has nothing to do with disasters. Uh, so Swiss life is not really, uh, doesn't really fit that story that I'm looking at right now. The next one is Swiss Re, reinsurance with a value of 62. And I found this is a really interesting company. Um, this is a really interesting company. I used to work there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and Peter, yeah, actually too. So the, the growth rank of Swiss Re is now very low, eight. And it was like, oh, this is really bad. But that's to be expected. Because if you have right. a crisis, you know, the, in the insurance companies, you know, their revenues go down, the growth is going to be bad. And also safety is, is quite low for Swiss Re. And I had another discussion where we discussed other Swiss insurance, other insurance companies, but they are in Germany and in France. And I really wanted a Swiss one. So I bought Swiss Re this summer and I bought the next one to Helvetia. Uh, one reason that actually is Helvetia ensures our art. So uh, they had the best deal in Switzerland. They bought a company that used to be a, a customer of Obermott, the, uh, the, the Basel uh, insurance company that they bought a couple of years ago. And I still know one of the board of members of the board of directors, and I think they do a really good job managing mm -hmm. the company. So Helvetia, also a really nice name, has, of course, a difficult growth rate because it's a difficult <laughs> year. Um, I bought that too. And then I didn't buy it by Vorwas. I didn't buy Chop because it's, 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 uh, it's headquartered in Switzerland, but I wanted to go for something even more local. And I went for 
purely emotional reason for Zurich Insurance Group, which is uh, at the bottom on, on my list, but at least has a combined rank for 33, is a, is a little bit safer with 50, and it's still not growing as, 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 as little as the others. So it has a growth rank of 47. Of course, the value rank is, is high because they may have done their job better and are still expensive related with their profits because right now profits are low. But I felt, you know, with insurance, with Zurich insurance, I really have an also an emotional, you know, connection. Uh, and uh, I like to be invested there. It's, it's, it's something that wasn't my plan for a long time. Now, these are the three companies that I actually bought this summer uh, in Switzerland, Swiss insurance companies using the filter. So it's good to see, Herman, that sometimes emotions come into your decision-making process as well. It's not just with mine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sometimes emotions are not that bad. <laughs>